Hi everybody, we're playing Warframe, and today we're doing the Inner Dem Incarnon Dagger. We're going to do Evolution 2. So I'm going back to Gabby on Ceres. Now for Evolution 2 we need to do 6 uh, transmutations on the weapon. While a lone Tenno operative hunts for supplies, set off the alarms to start. The infested are releasing toxic spores into the area. The emergency life support I am delivering is your only chance for survival. We need a steady stream of enemies to kill to get the transmutation. So to get the dagger into transmutation mode, we need to increase the combo counter to five on the bottom right there. Look for personal life support modules dropped by fallen enemies. You see, as we uh, attack more enemies, it gradually increases. We want to try and keep a steady stream of uh, enemies coming in, otherwise it's going to reset back to one, like it just did then. Life support incoming. You want to keep your kill count pretty high. Also, I'm just uh, spamming the E key. I'm not trying to do any um, fancy combos. Attack button. Turns the inner them into Incarnon form. We've got increased attack speed. So I'm going to stop now and let it go back to its normal form. I've delivered another life I'm going to stop killing capsule. enemies and just uh, hang for a little bit. And eventually the thing will time out and we'll go back to the normal dagger. And we want to repeat this process five more times. Okay, it's gone back now. Let's build up the combo counter again. Our operative is making progress. This will help our cause. When you need it, extraction is ready. I 
nearly at five times now. There we go. Pretty heavy attack. Okay, let's chill for a bit. Let it go back to its normal form. The spores have almost completely saturated the atmosphere. You need to get out of there. Building the combo counter back up to five. Look what our Tenno operative just found. They could not do this without you. Okay, the weapon's transformed. Okay, I'm going to bug out now. I'm past the 10 minute mark. I'm going to reset this mission and come back and do it again. Spore saturation is nearing the critical mass. After that point, no amount of life support will save you. Alright, just going to take a look at uh, my mods. I'm going to put a um, stance mod in. This symbol here. I'm going to go with uh, Stinging Thorns. And what this will do is it will show me the combos in the top right there. Boost that up. Okay, let's take a look at the combos. There's various different combos here you can use. For me, I'm being lazy, I'm just using the EE, EEE. -E -E. It's basically spamming the E key, but there are a lot of other combos you can use. Excellent armaments, operator. Okay, Keep let's go back in. Covered in blood. Safe and sound. 
Bond, emergency life support is inbound. Okay, once again, building up the combo counter up to five. support modules dropped by fallen enemies. Okay, so the weapon went back to normal, and we'll try it again. Additional life support has arrived. We need the combos. Let's wait for the weapon to return to normal again. Operative One more to do. Made their first discovery. Keep up the good work. When you need it, okay. extraction is ready. And if finally finish it. A bit tedious to get this evolution challenge, but right there. I've delivered another life support capsule. Okay, time to bug out. is nearly max rank now. So I'm going to go back to Zeroman and speak to Cavalero. Travel to Cavalero. Oh, thank the void. I don't have kids. Thought about it, but 
Nah. Line ends here. Feeling creative? Okay, let's evolve it. There we go, a choice of three. So 0 0.5 range. 25% attack speed. 30% sprint speed. I'm going to go with the middle one. 25% attack speed. Okay. That's the end of this episode, guys. Life. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. If you die, I got dibs on your stuff. Mm -hmm.